right now is Courtney in Georgia who has called. I love when you guys have questions because sometimes, I'll be honest, I do and we do what we feel is entertaining and we feel you guys want to know, but sometimes we don't cover the things you want us to cover. Courtney, what is your question? Hey, studio. Almost. I wanted to find out how therapy is going, if you have an update. Well, I do. Uh, I went to therapy yesterday. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. and, my, my th- and I say this, that I'm a big believer in therapy. There, to me, I, I'm not embarrassed at all. I don't think anyone should be embarrassed about going to work on yourself. If that's to the gym to get physically stronger, if it's going to talk to somebody to get mentally stronger, like, don't be embarrassed of whatever you're doing when you're putting work into yourself. And so people are always like, you know what? You're so brave for talking about it. I'm not brave. Like, I should <laughs> be doing this. I feel like this is good for everyone. So I go to my therapist yesterday, and I think I've probably been, like, to her 12 or 13 times. 12 oh, or 13 wow. Weeks. Has it so been, it's been that many? Yeah. And she oh. is a couples therapist, and which means she just works with couples and me. And there's two <laughs> chairs in there. And there. Well, now she's put a, an, an extra chair in there, so I get to sit on the back side of the two chairs now. Yeah, when you walk in, there's two chairs that look at each other, and she usually works with couples that way. Now there's a couch behind it that I get to sit on and just look at her one-on-one. So I sit behind the two chairs, and I go in yesterday, and we're talking. She's like, well, how was the break? And I kind of told her about some stuff. And she said, you know, you are just the Benjamin Buttons of relationships. I said, what's, what's that mean? She goes, with a lot of people, when they meet someone new, they're like, this is the greatest thing. This is the one. And she goes, anytime that you meet anybody, you're like, well, there's no way this is going to work. <laughs> She's like, it's just not going to work. There are here 50 reasons why it won't work. Here's why it's not going to work for me. Work for... She goes, but the more that you hang out with someone, you start to go the opposite. And I go, oh, I do see a little light. Oh, I do see a little more uh, opportunity here for there to be something. So she called me the Benjamin Buttons of of relationships. Wow, yesterday. never thought about it that way. So, but yeah, we had a we had a good one. But here's the thing, in a little bit, because we have our rhythm now. Like, boom, every week I go in, get my hour, feel good. Um, she's gone for three weeks. Oh no! What yeah. about can y'all Facetime? <gasps> Ooh, I know. So Ooh. Ooh. I'm probably just gonna quit. Set back. Yeah. No. <laughs> She's going to go Find back. someone else. Can she give you exercises during that hour that you normally have blocked off for that? You can work on yourself still? I don't want to be so dependent that if she's not here for a week that I'm going, oh, no, I'm going to not be able to make it through the day. Oh, okay. It'll, it'll be good for me. It'll be good for her. But I'm going. I love it. I think anytime you can work on yourself in any way whatsoever, that is that is nothing but good. And so that's my update now. I'm very open to new relationships. And there are things now these small things happening in my life now that I I have not shared yet. Amy knows. Mm -hmm. But because as much love as there is with, between me and our listeners, sometimes they go a little crazy on social media Yeah, and they go tagging people and they go attacking accounts and it's not fair to anybody that comes into my life that way. So, but it is good. I'm working. I, I can feel progress. And I see potential in me. And that is it. How do you feel about that answer, Courtney? Would you like me to answer any other question about that? Did I hit what you wanted? No, that's awesome. I just, um, I love the fact that you're very open and honest about it. Um, We don't have the same type of background, but um, very similar backgrounds. And I used to be very embarrassed of going to therapy, but it has changed my life. And so the fact that you are honest and open about it, I love it. It makes you so relatable to those of us that, haven't had this, you know, knight and shining upbringing and love story. So I just love it. And I love to hear when you talk about it. Well, I appreciate you saying that. And for me, therapy has been for a lot of reasons Um, and and not just relationships, but just trust. And, you know, her whole thing is you don't have to think that everybody's going to abandon you because everybody's abandoning you your whole life. And that's, that's one of the things that we work on. Not just love, not just relationships, but so it's good. And now Rascal Flats is leaving me. <laughs> I know. That's what's what, happening. She's, someone even, else she's not even going to be here for me to go back. <laughs> Rascal Flats left. What am I going to do? They're breaking up. You're silly. Thank you. This is what he does when he's a little. I know. Oh, he makes I know. a joke. I know. I'm going to tell you what happens. I get in this. I really enjoy my therapist. And she's fantastic. She's probably 60. Not sure her age. And I always feel weird because I am also I'm curious about other people always. They don't really know the rules about how much can you ask them about their life. Yeah, because it's not they're you're not there for that. I know, but I really want to know stuff. And then I also, because she's so trained at working with people and staying serious, like if I can make her laugh in the middle of therapy, <laughs> I go and I'm Good like, day. got one. Yeah. 
write that down. That's fun to me because I don't think that happens often. Like that's, oh, it's, now yeah. it's a game. That's really fun to me. That's fun. <laughs> yeah.